All right, so our layout is falling into place. Now we wanna add the background color to these two. So before we do that, I'm gonna give you a hint and I'm gonna see if you can solve it if you haven't already. And that is we're going to do this in a very similar way to how we did our buttons, where we have a main class that's controlling our button. And then we had a secondary class that we would use to modify that to add colors or change the colors of our button. So with that hint, see if you can figure out how to add that background color and a little bit of padding to those two divs. And once you get it, or if you get stuck, I'll show you how I would do it. All right, so I'm gonna go back into my index to do this, and I'm gonna find the divs in question, which is this one is the first one we need because it's the third column inside of that first section there. And on that call, I'm gonna give this a call BG class. Now it could just be background, it could be pretty much anything you want. The reason I'm starting it with the COL is because I'm modifying a column. The specific reason for this is to act as a column modifier. So I'm putting call BG to modify my column. It just helps me stay a little bit more organized. Could you do it in another way? 100%. You might have another name that you came up with, which was amazing, and it probably is. There's not one naming convention that you have to use or follow. In fact, there's tons of really good and well thought out naming conventions out there that all look at things in a little bit of a different way. The important thing is that you do have a naming convention and there's a little bit of logic to how you're doing it because then other people can figure it out. Or when you come back to a project six months later, you understand what you were doing. So I'm going to put call BG there and I'm going to come down here and do a call BG on this one as well. And then I'm going to come up into my styles where I set up my columns, but I will do my call BG and I'll give that the background color that we need. So I'll write background and let's get that dark color that we want. And let's give it a little bit of padding. So I'm gonna give it padding of like 0.5 M because I don't want a lot. And as I said, I'm usually using M's for my padding. Again, I'm thinking my font size is 16 pixels. Half of that sounds pretty good. Maybe I want one, but I'm gonna look at it and see what it actually looks like. And then I can decide if I thought, if I think it looks all right. Um, they're stuck together right now, which is a little bit of an issue. So let's actually come onto my columns here and just give these a bit of a margin of like one M top and bottom and zero on the left and the right just to help give us a little bit of space between things. And we can see that the padding doesn't look too bad. Probably a little bit small actually, because I'm looking at the two sides there, I can see that the top and bottom is about what I want, but that's including that margin that's on my text by default. So let's go and boost that up to maybe a one at the end. And I think that looks a little bit better. So over here, I'm gonna take off the margin that's on that text, especially on the top. So we're just gonna go into my typography section here and add in my paragraph and give that a margin top of zero. And there we go, it is working. This bottom one will end up with a little bit of extra space. It, uh, you can see actually right now they're stretching. We're gonna look at how we can fix this stretching behavior eventually as well, and it will leave a little bit of extra space on the bottom, um, but it isn't the end of the world. Oh, <laughs> and looking at this, this text is a little bit hard to read. So on that call BG, anytime a column has a background color, we can also have it come and get an actual color too. And we'll give it the FFF or just white keyword would be fine as well. So at least we can read our text a little bit better. Super. So our layout is coming together. It's working. It is responsive. It's changing in size. It'll work at different screens. That's pretty exciting, right? It's not set at one screen now, but our column widths are all screwy with, and we want to change those. I did the background color first on these on purpose because it's the same technique that we're going to use to actually change the size of the other ones. We're gonna use a modifier class that can control the size of our columns. So I want you to try and go ahead and do that right now on this one. And whether you get it or not, we'll see in the next video how I am going to approach it. The one thing not to worry about yet is the spacing between them. It's just thinking about the logic behind it. And then we can go through and worry about how to create those spaces because we're actually gonna see a new property to be able to do that.